Looks like everyone wants to put their finger in the German pie. Figuratively and, uh, fi you know, I'm down. talking about really yes. putting the finger in, you know what I'm saying? Gee, speaking of speaking of servings, geez, this, this secretary's got a nice piece of cake going on. Damn! Well, hi, baby. I'm going to need a couple of minutes. No, wait, there's someone already in there. Maybe they're having a couple of minutes. I'll just go have a wank in the car park then. Yeah, come on, fuck face. Oh, he's punched my hat off, that's it. You never punch Zira's hat off. off. Rule away. number fucking one, Stop mate. Oh, shit. I'm trying to turn me into a pancake, this bastard. Mmm, kissy kissy. Oh. Oh, throw her up against the wall, fucking... I might have to... Eh, hang on a minute. Hang on, I need to see if they're still doing nasty. Do the dirty up against the wall. Can I watch? What is going on YouTube Universe? This is Zira. This is House of Sticks from LA Noir. Thank you for joining me for another episode. Sit back, relax. It is game time, ladies and gentlemen. Wait, wait, wait. Hold it up. Before we continue this episode, Future Zero has an important message for you guys. This episode is going to be webcamless. If you've been following this series, you would have noticed over the last few episodes, we have had instances where the webcams just cut out during recording. For whatever reason, during recording this episode, the webcam wasn't working at all, so you'll still get my commentary, you still get to, you know, divulge into the greatness of the game, but you're not going to see this. Hopefully by the next episode we're good to go, but without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I've taken up enough of your time, it's time to get back to the video. Oh, you <laughs> fucking bastard! <laughs> Our third case with the arson unit. Hello, Jack Kelso. Mr. Kelso? Sign on the door says, Miss. We've sent our mistress to go talk to him. And we're playing as Jack Kelso. I completely forgot that we play as Kelso no before the final office. episode. And if you accept the settlement, all you need to do is sign here. I don't accept this. What settlement. do you mean you don't accept? I think you're pushing your luck, lady. This seems to be a ridiculously generous settlement. A $200 policy with a $20,000 payout? You should... I don't want the money. What do you mean, you don't want the money? I want you to investigate this case. I feel my friend may have been the victim of foul play. Okay. Let me get the case file. Exactly how Phelps said it would play out. If Kelso smells a rat, he'll dig deeper. Looky, looky, what do we have here? There's got to be more in these files. I don't even know what the fuck I'm supposed to be looking for. I'm just going to click on everything and hope that, uh... Eventually, by clicking on everything, we find exactly what it is that we're supposed to be hunting down. And I brought up the journal again without meaning to. I apologise. I completely forgot about the fact that we actually play as Jack like earlier than the last episode. Fall. I thought it was only the one. I just... Sorry for your loss. you got to uh, appreciate the fact, ladies and gentlemen, that this is the first time I've played it in oh, easily eight, nine years. And it looks like my fingering is going to get me nowhere. I don't know what the fuck... Nah, let's just ask the bitch some questions. Do you mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Of course not. Of course not. Ask of there. What basis do you have for your claim of foul play? Lou Buckwalter was a craftsman. I don't believe he would have made a roof that would collapse. Do we trust this bitch? Let's have a look. Oh! See how she looked away? You did it again! You want me to reopen this case based on your woman's intuition? That isn't going to happen. Take the money. I've already told you I do not want the money. There's something wrong with that house. The only reason she's asking you and Buck Walter weren't for married. this to be investigated no. 
uh, is because Cole you Phelps wants her to. We were family friends. Really, bitch. You expect me to reopen this case because you come in here walking that walk? Well, I'm not buying it. I think you should tell me what the hell is going on. I think she should as well. Do you really want to know? I really yes. want to know, yes. We were interned together on Ellis Island. Resident alien Germans whose parents had been killed by Nazis. Mm. Do you see the irony in that, Mr. Kelso? We spent four years there. So the roof collapsed. Accidents happened. What exactly are you trying to achieve here, Miss Lichtman? Exactly what I said. I want that building thoroughly investigated. Well, I think she's at least telling the truth here. I'm intrigued, Miss Lichtman. I really am. But you're going to have to give me something if you want me to get involved in this. There is a conspiracy surrounding Elysian Fields and the new houses they are building. I believe your insurance company is involved. That's pretty heady stuff, Miss Lichtman. Flimsy, but heady. I've told you what yeah. I know, Mr. Kelso. If she wants a little heady, what are you going to do about it? She closed the door first, right, you know what I'm saying? One final question. Yes. What's your address? Is that the usual? Is there anything usual about this case, Ms. Lichtman? The address is on the letter, Mr. Kelso. The address? Not the phone number. Jesus Christ, Kelso, you want to Snapchat as well? Fucking Cole Phelps finds out you're trying to fucking cut in on his sandwich, he's not going to be happy. Looks like everyone wants to put their finger in the German pie. Figuratively and, uh, fi you know. Mr. Benson would like to see you in his office. I'm yeah. talking about really yes. putting the finger in, you know what I'm saying? Come on, I'll walk you up. Alright, let's go visit, uh, old mate up in his office. Gee, speaking of, speaking of servings, geez, this, this secretary's got a nice piece of cake going on. Damn! I got a call back for that universal chorus line. Oh, did you? Do you see the amount of people around that don't give a fuck? And a good old cliche of fucking put putt in the in the oh, office. Yes. Jack, I'm just trying out a new putter. I noticed Elsa Lickman in the lobby. It's the weirdest thing, Mr. Benson. Call me Curtis, Jack. This is California. Like I said, Curtis, this is a very strange case. How so, Jack? That lady, Elsa Lichtman, is but, uh, a 20 grand payout. That face model looks like Mr. De Laurentiis from Pretty Little Elsa Liars. Elsa is hardly a lady, Jack. She's a jazz musician. Plays at the Blue Room in Hollywood. She has a fine pair of lungs, now that I think She's of it. But you're wondering how I know that, huh? Buckwalter. That's because I've seen the entire collection of Pretty Little Liars. Don't judge! I'm familiar with Leland Monroe. We move in similar circles. Well, Miss Lichtman is making some pretty serious accusations. She says the case stinks and that she's a very highly strung girl, Jack. Strung out might be a better way to put it. It's a pretty generous payment, Curtis. I think I should look into it. Is there anything wrong with the paperwork, Kelso? Yeah. No, there isn't, Mr. Benson. I didn't think so. Pay the case out and get her off our backs. I can't make her take the money, Deal sir. with it, Jack. Do your fucking job. Yeah, Jack. Do I have to do everything? Do I have to no, do sir, everything? Fine, Jack. I can Fine. do your job, Jack. You know I have the greatest confidence in you. Yeah, well, I don't have any confidence you. in your putt-putt skills, mate. Keep fucking practicing. You bastard. Talk to me like that again and I'll fucking get a 9-iron and jam it up your asshole. Son, you're a couple of slates short of a full room. Your car, Mr. Kelso. Thank you, sir. Thanks, kid. Oh, well. Thank you very much. I was... I was worried I was going to have to drive. But it gives me the ability to fast travel if I just hold down the triangle button. How convenient. Saves me a lot of fucking time, too, because the most monotonous thing in the game is driving around. Uh, 
Hey, I've been here before and got told to fuck off. I'm going to have a little snoop around then, shall I? Find me some clues before they realise I'm. That's not uh, how my pop top. I'm next. sleuthing around. Someone is cutting corners. A little bit of a sneaky deaky. It's funny, really, when you All have a look at the times back then again. and compare it to now. The amount of shit I have done throughout this game as a police officer that would get me. Leland suspended Monroe, or you know have my looks like he doesn't like to be disappointed. my stance as a policeman revoked and thrown into prison fuck I would have been in trouble ten times over and then some well hi baby I'm gonna need a couple of minutes no wait there's someone already in there maybe they're having a couple of minutes I'll just go have a wank in the car park then hey you just can't be walking around down here I'm Jack Kelso, from California Fire and Life. I don't care if you're from the Vatican. Buzz off. I'm investigating the accidental death yeah, of a Yeah, you care if I was from the Vatican if you were a fucking altar boy, you bastard. Do I have to beat on you? Looks like you do. You're a real ass. Yeah, come on, fuckface. Oh, he's punched my head off, that's it. I came to see the house where Lou Buckwalter died. You never well, punched Zira's hat off, rule number fucking one, Stop mate. Game. Three houses down on the left. Don't know what you're looking for, smart guy. There's nothing there. Then I'll poke around in the rubble. Fine. As long as you're out of my sight. Enjoy wiping the blood off your lip, you fuck. I don't know what why I have to do a fucking destination when he turned around and said it's down on the left. It's right here. Don't mind me as I eat my nose. Then they bulldoze it. What gives here? Not for why? Can I look at this piece? Clearly fucking says not for construction everywhere. Let's try to piece this together. That's not right. Keystone Films? Who gets their lumber from a film studio? Fucking very suspect, if you ask me. Oh shit! You son of a bitch! Oh shit! I'm trying to turn me into a pancake, this bastard. Come on, Jack. Fuck's your problem, buddy. Fucking, I should put a bullet right in him right now. Fuck ass. Let's drive to the phone, shall we? Whoops. Jack Kelso, California Fire and Life Investigator. I need an address on the Keystone Film Company. The address is... 
8 North Wilton Place. Is there anything else? No, thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Let's go. Fucking run down piece of shit, this place. Hi, Mac. I work for California Fire and Life. I'm looking into an industrial accident. Here? No, not here. At a housing development over on Normandy Avenue. So? I found some lumber over there, had the Keystone name printed on it. We've been closed since 41. Never quite made the transition to talkies. The Suburban Redevelopment Fund are pulling the place down. Know anything about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Phelps does. Nix. Mind if I take a look around? I'm kind of hungry. If someone was to leave a couple of bucks here, I might wander down the street and get a cup of coffee. Is there a key to the gate? If you're fucking hungry, why would no. you get a coffee? The only guys who go in or out are some delivery guys from Elysian Fields. They're working on a housing development over at Wilton and Santa Monica. You'll have to hop it. Alright. I'll hop it. Yay! Welcome to the screening room. We go to Let's see what the rich and powerful have to say for themselves. The real should be nearby. In a great day for the future of Los Angeles, civic leaders and businessmen joined forces to launch the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. The Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Everyone's in on this bastard. For returning GR. Gentlemen, this is Dr. Harlan Fontaine. He's our latest investor in the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Doctor, this is Curtis Benson. He's Vice President of the California Fire and Life. We're pleased to meet you, Doctor. Ray Gordon, Editor of the Times. Doctor. District Attorney Don Sandler and Police Chief Warren. Gentlemen, I am delighted to be in such exalted company. You're making quite a name for yourself, Doctor, amongst the SBM fraternity. I find that those of artistic temperament are often of a fragile mental disposition. It's a short step from miscreant to recidivism, Doctor. Very true. But I think we could all agree that the City of Angels does rather well basking in the reflection of the motion picture industry. Hear, hear. And it's something that every sucker getting off a train at Union Station wants a part of. Gentlemen, we're here to sell the American dream, and Hollywood is our greatest advertiser. So... How is your new development selling, Leland? Cannot throw them up fast enough, Ray. And that's part of the problem, Leland. Washington is receiving steady complaints. There's a clamor for public housing. God damn it, Ray. Public housing is tantamount to communism. Now, that's why we fought this goddamn war. I'm telling you, it's reds by the back door. You can't have it both ways, Leland. The new freeways are being built to service all your developments out in the boondocks. They're all being built with government money. The GI Bill is government money. There's a difference. What difference? The GI money ends up in my pocket. I hope you mean uh, our pockets, Leland. We're all investors. Of course, Curtis. 
So, when will the freeway bond be passed on? It still has to be ratified. It takes a long time to raise three billion dollars. I need to find a game well or a telephone. In I think that's day, everything. The future of Los Angeles, civic leaders and businessmen joined forces to launch the... Oh, giddy up, horsey. Borrow this prick's phone. Excuse me. Kelso, get in the door one time. Operator, can you put me through to police dispatch? Putting you through now. This is Jack Kelso, investigator for California Fire and Life. Can you put me through to Curtis Benson, please? Just a moment, please, Mr. Kelso. Jack, how can I help? Do you know anything about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund, Mr. Benson? I've heard of them, Jack. Building new homes for GIs. With green lumber that was used on movie sets. Jack, are you working the Buck Walter case? Mr. Benson, are you part of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Jack, I want you to listen very clearly. Call Miss Lickman. Call her as soon as you hang up. Arrange to see her tonight and get her to agree to the settlement. Do it tonight. Do you hear me? Yes, sir. End of story. Pushy Jack. bastards. I don't want to hear another word about Elsa Lickman or Lou Buckwalter. Can you put me through to Michigan 221? Putting the call through. Hello? Ms. Lichtman, it's Jack Kelso. Yes, Mr. Kelso. I've been looking into your case. Yes, and what have you found? It doesn't look good. I need to see you. Meet me at the Blue Room. I work there tonight. I take a break around nine. I'll be waiting at the stage door. We can talk then. Might bump into Phelps. Mr. Kelso. Phelps Thanks. frequents there ever since he started sleeping with Elsa. The Blue Room Jazz Club. There's Phelps right there, looking dapper in the suit that I've got him wearing. I don't suppose I'll make a plea Cause baby, you know I'm guilty Phelps walked in and was like, hey baby, I'm here. And then just fucking walked straight outside the bastard. And my headset's fallen off. Ah, Phelps going around the back door, that may be how Elsa likes it, know what I'm saying? Fucking do the doggy like a German Shepherd. Phelps getting a little jealous. What were you doing with him? I was doing what you asked. I didn't ask you to meet him in an alleyway. Why do you snarl at me? Your friend came to ask me to accept the insurance. He's plan. not my friend, Elsa. I think he's a brave man. And you have placed him in great danger. You've involved him in something and he has no idea of the risk. Can you live with that, Cole? Elsa, I need his help, and he hates my guts. Forget the past, Cole. He deserves a chance to say no. If he helps you, let it be on his terms. I'll go see him in the morning. Mm, kissy, kissy. Oh. Oh, throw her up against the wall, if I can... I might have to... Hey, hang on a minute. Hang on, I need to see if they're still doing nasty. Do the dirty up against the wall. Can I watch? Oh, they've already finished. See, Phelps gets his rocks off real quick. Get around the pole. Fucking hell, Kelso. Let's get 
the fuck out of here. Broom, broom. We're going to have to do a break in. Good old sneaky deaky. It's alright, Kelso. We'll find a way. When there's a will, there's a way. Oh. Got someone doing shadow puppets upstairs. Pull my dick out and do a fucking shadow puppet of a monster. You know what I'm saying? Nice wiring job, fellas. Keep them in the dark. Whoop. There's nothing up here. What the hell's going on? You lose something, Mac? I thought these private eye types were all wise guys with smart mouths. Looks like the snappy repartee has all dried up. Get on with it. What's your hurry, Mac? I'll put a Guess bullet a right in your dick go? hole, mate. You ever do the cat and mouse routine without a gun in your hand? Now that's more like it. You want to fucking rumble in the jungle, mate? Let's put a few gaps in there. The oh. tough act's easy to play when it's three Ooh, on one. Fucking. Time for you to lose some teeth. Whoop! I'm about to break your goddamn jaw. If I can finish you off. Don't worry, buddy. Fuck off. Fuck off. Uh oh. Stop it. Stop it, he's already down. You're a worn tough guy. You should learn to take a hint. Get him downstairs and into the trunk. Into the trunk? Well, looks like Kelso's going for a drive. Who sent you? Sure, he turned up all right. He's wishing he didn't. He's in the trunk. He's going nowhere. The boys introduced themselves. <laughs> He's gonna do some shots, and in the meantime, hopefully, I can break out of the fucking trunk and I'll take some shots of my own. Yeah, I know a good place. Pick up a shovel and a pick on the way. It's up in the hills behind Griffith Park. We'll deal with that German bitch next. <laughs> well, maybe I'm not going to get out of the trunk. Yes, I am. See you later. I can dodge and weave. Get out of the vehicle. What the hell? Sorry, pal. Desperate times. Behind me. 
Monroe owns the city. Owns the cops. I need to find Elsa. Yeah, you better hurry up. Bad driving. Oh shit. Control your car. What's your problem? Piss off. Oh, three cars after me. Out of my way! of them well we made it he's been fucked up A bit of splash in the fountain of youth. <sighs> Phelps is going to be in there, so this is going to be interesting. Well, only assuming Phelps is in there because they're doing the nasty. Yep. So you're still carrying that Army 45, Cole. He's getting fucking blood all over my fresh brand new rug. Oh no. Damn it. Fucking damn it. The truth is out on Elysian fields despite Lila Moreau's best efforts to bury it. The city damage cost us. And we missed two clues. I, I don't know which two clues we missed, but we missed them. Only four out of five stars. That sucks. By technicality, can we get away with getting four stars here because we played as Kelso and not as Phelps? I... I don't know. I, I reckon... I reckon let's take the technicality. Two more cases to go before this series is wrapped up. And as you can see, things are getting really interesting. I hope you enjoyed this case. If you did, hit that like button down below. Be sure to subscribe if you're new and if you've missed any previous cases. They are linked down below. But that's it from me, guys. I'm out of here. And as always, I will catch you guys next time.